Infinix Mobility. We've covered them a lot on GadgetMatch.com, but never on this channel. But I read your comments, and I know it's a phone brand you've been asking me to cover since like four years ago. Well, wait no further, my friends. Today, Infinix is launching the newest phone in its Hot series. And we're partnering with them so I could bring you this Infinix Hot 10S unboxing. Hi, I'm Michael Josh, your gadget matchmaker, helping you find the right device to match your needs. I know you're here to see the phone, but before we begin, and for the benefit of everyone else who isn't familiar, here's a quick intro. Infinix is an up-and-coming Chinese smartphone company founded in 2013. Their focus has been on emerging markets and are popular in Southeast Asia, India, Latin America, and Africa. Many of their phones play in the $200 range, making them incredibly popular amongst young people, especially those who are looking for affordable phones for less. And when it comes to their lineup, there's the top of the line Infinix Zero, the multimedia and creator focused Infinix Note, and for gamers, the Infinix Hot, which is where the phone we're taking a look at today belongs. All right, I'm pretty excited to unbox my first Infinix phone, so let's waste no more time. The box is green and orange. It says Hot 10S, and you can see down here, it's powered by MediaTek's Helio G85 gaming chip. Okay, let's slice this open and lift. Yep, first up is the phone with a metallic sticker containing all the highlights. Don't worry, we'll dive into all of that later. But first, let's see what else is inside the box. Next up, this box with a tiny SIM ejector pin. Also inside, a clear case and a screen protector. I always love when they include one in the box. That way, you don't need to rush out to buy one. Finally, you have all the charging essentials, a 10 watt charger and a USB-A to micro USB cable. All right, let's peel off these stickers so that we can take a closer look at the phone. I haven't done this in a while, but because many of you ask, here's what button and port placements are like. Camera module and fingerprint sensor on the back, volume rocker and power button on the right hand side, SIM card slot on the left. It's a triple card slot for two nano SIM cards and one optional micro SD card. There's nothing up top, but on the bottom, there's a headphone jack, microphone, micro USB port, and speaker grills. Don't worry, this video isn't over. I wanna spend some time talking about the phone and some of its features. It's got a 6.82 inch display with a 90 hertz refresh rate. This, by the way, is the first time a 90 hertz screen has come to the Infinix Hot series. It's set to 90 hertz out of the box, but you can also dive into settings and go down to 60 hertz or switch to a variable refresh rate. Speaking of size, it's a pretty large phone. And just for context, it's as big as the Galaxy S21 Ultra from Samsung maybe even just a bit taller. The Hot 10S comes in four colors, 95 degree black, Morandi green, heart of ocean, and seven degree purple. This one I have is Morandi green. It's a little bit grayish with a hint of Tiffany blue. When hit by the light, the phone will explode into this pattern that Infinix says is inspired by the salt flats of Salar de Uyuni in Bolivia. But it also reminds me of the ceiling of the jewel where you can find the world's largest indoor fountain in Singapore. On the back of the phone sits a fingerprint sensor, but yes, you can also use face unlock. The phone comes with 3D face recognition technology that can identify users even with a mask on. By the way, the Hot 10S comes with or without NFC. NFC allows for features like Android Beam, which lets you tap your phone on another device to send photos and videos, as well as tap to pay in countries where it's supported. I love this feature because it lets me pay for groceries, for example, without having to bring my wallet with me. Apart from the inclusion or exclusion of NFC, the other differences are as follows. The non-NFC model comes with a six gigabyte RAM option instead of just four gigabytes and a larger 6,000 milliamp hour battery versus 5,000. And while we're talking about battery life, because this isn't a review, I don't have real world tests for you, but I did do a charge test. 
The phone is bundled with a 10 watt charger from MT. A 10 minute charge got me to 8%. A 60 minute charge got me to 40 and a full charge took three hours. While its camera bump is sizable, just like the rest of 2020's top of the line phones, the Infinix Hot 10s basically has one usable rear camera, a 48 megapixel camera with an f1.79 lens. The other two cameras are an AI camera and a two megapixel depth camera. Again, because this isn't a review, I'll leave out the commentary, but here's a look at some sample photos. The photo also includes a couple of cool video features, including 240 FPS slow-mo, real-time face beautification to keep you looking fresh on video, and short video mode. Up front, the phone has an 8 megapixel selfie camera with a teardrop cutout. Here are some samples too. Of course, we cannot not talk about gaming. After all, this phone is aimed at the gaming crowd. The phone is powered by MediaTek's mid-range gaming specific system on a chip, Helio G85. There's also DTS audio processing that the company claims elevates sound effects during gameplay. On top of that, Darlink Ultimate Game Booster, Infinix's own game engine which optimizes the gaming experience. Things like latency, touchscreen sensitivity, and game boosting are all covered. The Infinix Hot 10s runs XOS 7.6 based on Android 11. The phone retails for roughly $130 for the 128GB plus 6GB non-NFC model and about $120 for the 128 4GB NFC edition. Prices will differ depending on where you live. Availability starts May 12th in Indonesia. Apakabar to my Indonesian viewers, followed by a rollout to more countries in the coming months. The NFC version will be available in select markets including Indonesia, Russia, and Latin America. And that was our Infinix Hot 10S unboxing. Do you want to see more Infinix content? Sound off in the comments section below. I personally enjoyed my first taste of Infinix as a brand and of their affordable gaming smartphone. While I believe that this year the $400 price point is where it's at, it's nice to see phones that are even half that price doing really good and brands like Infinix coming in and offering excellent experiences for much, much less. Guys, you know the drill. If you're not subscribed yet, do so. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that bell icon while you're at it so that you get notified as soon as we upload. Follow me on social media for all the behind the scenes fun stuff. And as always, make gadgetmatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.